everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids with Marina. Hi all. Hi. And we are fresh off the hook Monday today, bringing you what I've done this week. So, uh, I wanted to say that Marina is steadily learning her crocheting. So this week she was again trying her single chain, and she made herself quite a few necklaces. So next week she will have some stuff to show. And we were teaching her friend Kayla yesterday, which was very exciting because she got the hand handle on it right away and she made herself two huge necklaces it was so cute three. took three sweet took a hook and some um cotton home to make some more at home so okay marina has on the pride hat that i was wearing last week and look it actually looks proper we think we fixed the camera now just hoping that the sound is okay if it's not comment me below and let me know and we'll get rid of this camera as i've said before i think it needs to go anyway because it's getting on my nerves <laughs> Okay, so I have the black and white camouflage hat. I really like this yarn. It is uh, worsted weight, four ply, really smooth, and Gordon's <laughs> 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 just gonna continue. <laughs> that was the couch, right? <laughs> no, that was Charlie. Okay. <laughs> and I'm wearing a wrist warmer to match the hat. Don't know where the other one is because it went missing. But anyway, I lost it. Bam. Ta -da! Oh my god, isn't that the cutest thing ever? This is from One Virtuous Woman's channel. She, I'll have her link down below. She's um, the woman who started all of this, as I say every week, so I think I should stop saying that so you guys don't get annoyed with it. But anyway, uh, One Virtuous Woman Marcel, her John and Aisha's pattern um, for this cute little ring. It's so sweet. You do it with embroidery thread, which I had a really hard time crocheting with, and I used a 2.0 hook. Um, there you were using, I think, a 1.4 in their tutorial, and you can mm -hmm. see how small mine turned out yet again because I crochet so tightly, but it's a really thick band, so it's very comfortable. And I'm going to try crochet thread and see if that works better because, of course, I've been getting some orders. So the rings are only $5. Most of my hats are $15 to $25, depending on the kind that you get and if there's any um, decorations on the side or anything like that. And on to my very exciting project. I'm not sure if I've decided where I'm actually, or when I'm actually going to tell you what I'm doing with them because I'm not finished making any of them yet, or all of them yet. So we have, this is a lot of things. And this has been my project all week, so I really haven't done much else. I'm making all different sizes and different kinds of baby hats with all of my leftover, um, yarn or cotton. Should we say who it's for yet? Okay, she's going to tell you who it's for. This is a special project because um, I decided that with my leftovers I was going to do something good with it. So we are donating them to Toronto East General Hospital. The, the children's ward obviously, the newborn the one. So um, that's where both of us were born. I called them last week and asked them if it was okay, and the lady was beyond excited. So I would um, like to bring them up. I want to get about 100 done first before I actually do bring them up. And because I have been buying yarn like a freak, I have tons and tons and tons of balls of yarn that, you know, have just a little tiny ball left. So if any of you out there want to donate, um, that would be wonderful if you have leftover yarn that you don't know what to do with. Um, I'm going to be making these on a regular basis, and I will just hold them up as I'm talking. They look so cute. Mm. And then you can see what I've been up to. This is my pet project this week. So, um, this is actually the breast cancer yarn. <coughs> so, part of the proceeds got donated to the Canadian Breast Cancer for that pink one, which I think is cute. Or cool. Not cute. Very mm. cool. Um, so we're going to go up, um, probably... I have, I think I already have about 30, so I, that took me all week, um, doing them on and off. So maybe in the next, I did some really tiny ones mm -hmm. for, sorry to stop interrupting myself. In the next couple weeks, I'll have uh, about 100 done. So um, I tried to mix up some too. And yeah, I will, um, I don't even know what I'm saying now. <laughs> These are the ones that I made today while we were out. I didn't even sew in the threads yet. Mm -hmm. um, so 
then I wanted to do something completely different because I know sometimes, you know, I just love hats. Absolutely love hats. So making hats to me is just extremely fun. And I don't mind doing just hats, but then sometimes you want to switch it up a little bit so that you have something else to show people. And you can tell people, no, I don't only sew hats. I actually do sew some other things. So I tried to make um, a few different things this week. And... Oh, let's show you another hat first. This is the Acadian hat. Well, even though it's called American Stripes on the Wall, it's a little lily sugar and cream. I got that from the outlet. Um, so I'll put probably a little yellow star in there for her. And um, then we have some washcloths. Oh, oh yeah, bug. I was supposed to show this last week and I didn't get to because I forgot. There's the finished ladybug. I just did X's for the dots. Or for her spots. Instead of the circle. And then I um, back stitched the um, middle, I don't know what you want to call that line. The bottom is just a black circle. And her head is completely crooked. Lots of. But I love it. Mm -hmm. And then just two little feeler things. Wait, I think I, yeah, there you can see them now. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. So I had pins in her. Um, as a pin cushion, but I kind of like it just as a little stuffy. So I'm going to leave her like that. Um, I don't know what her name is yet, but we will name her. Okay. Lila. Lila. So these are my washcloths. I actually used one yesterday, and we really, really like it. Um, unfortunately, I don't wash any of my products <coughs> <coughs> before I send them out or anything like that. So, um, if you do get a hat off of me, it's up to you whether you want to wash it before you wear it. Um, this did uh, bleed quite a bit when it got wet, but I mean soaking wet. Like, obviously, you're doing the dishes with it, so it's drenched. And um, a little bit of the blue came out, so nothing major if you want to wash it. And I would advise you to wash it separately. Okay. And just one of them, honey. And then these ones are just um, variegated blue cotton. So I did this double stitch, and then this one is single stitch. Um, I haven't tried the double stitch one yet, so I'm not sure which one I really prefer. And then um, these little tiny hearts. Wait, there. They're so cute. So I'm going to use these to um, embellish something. I'm not really sure what. And I have a pink one from her too, but we didn't grab it. So I don't know. It's the circle one. It probably fell down on the couch when you grabbed the pillows, honey. So, um, that's it for us for this week, then. Oh, there it is. There's a... This is called a spiral scrubby from... Uh, you know what? I'm not sure what the channel on here is called. But her website is Nastasia, N-A-Z-T-A-S-I-A dot com. And she has this on there from another person, though. So the link is on there. Um, how to make this. Very, very easy. Single stitch and um, you start with a chain of 21 and then you have to do increases and decreases on every row so it actually looks kind of like a rhombus when you have it and then you have to piece it together and then sew the middle together and it comes like this and it's very textured because you do inside row only so it's got the texture and then you can um, use it to scrub your dishes and she says if you use different kinds of material so yarn versus cotton kind of thing it will make a different feel and texture uh, to wash your dishes with. Or a personal scrubby because it's uh, so soft, it would be great. Um, I'm thinking of making it differently and uh, doing the pattern, of course making a pattern myself, um, where I can put the bar of soap right in it and then close it and then you can replace the soap. So, is that it? Oh no, the bag, it's on the floor. Okay, one more thing. Because, yeah, I have to have a pride thing every week, brand new to show. So that's my pride market bag. Totally love it. And I used it on Saturday. Worked really well. I'm very happy. I changed the pattern. I did the bottom. Um, the eight rows, like it shows at the top for more strength. And I sewed it about three times with the cotton itself. So it is very strong. Stretchy, so you can fit a lot in it. Um, and I guess that's it. So... Happy crocheting, everybody. Have a great week. I'm, again, Monica from Kids Lids. Oh, big announcement. I have gotten 50 subscribers on my YouTube channel. I totally forgot. 
Yay! Drum roll. Brrr. So we are going to do a draw live on camera. I will have the names ready next week, and Marina will draw the names. So whoever the winner is, I will send you a hat in the mail. You can pick which one you want. Um, wherever you are, I'll send it to you. Over the world. Doesn't matter. So cool. And thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Um, please join my Facebook page. I'll have the link down there. And I'll have the link for all the other ladies who do Fresh Off the Hook. And then subscribe to me and the other ladies. Keep watching. Have fun crocheting. I love you all. Bye.